right, this is destiny. I know from the moment I started building these kits that these two had to race. Though the Bug has a Mubachi silver can Tamiya motor and the standard gearing. And the Scorpion has a Roar 9127 turn Kyosho motor and the optional gearing. Uh, let's see which one is going to be better on the track. I know that the Bug has more launch, but the Scorpion may have more control. I set up the suspension a little bit different on it. So, let's see how it goes. All right, race fans, the results are in. And I remember our Beatles ran before, and it was kind of setting towards the lower end of the pack, so it needed a redemption run anyway. And I had a fastest time of 5.20 seconds previously. Well, we'll see what it did this time. And then we got our Scorpion buggy, which I knew would be a little bit slower. It's only got a uh, Roar 91, I believe 490 motor in it with the optional gearing. You got two different sets of gearing from the factory, and this has the optional gearing in it. I'm probably going to run it again and uh, give it a chance on either a larger motor or the other gearing. So let's just get the, the race results in. So the Beetle had the fastest lap of 5.83 seconds and an average lap of 6.09 seconds. So that is actually going to bring the Beetle up to some redemption. Because you remember it had 5.20 seconds previously. Now we're at 4.83. It's finally going to go up the pack a little bit. Knock the, the King Yellow down one. And the Beetle has climbed in the, in the scoreboard quite considerably. Now with the Scorpion, it had a fastest time of 5. 3.0 seconds and an average lap speed of 5.44 seconds. So, why it was fast or slower all the way around as far as it didn't get a, a, a super hot lap like this one did, it stayed consistent. I mean, its, it's fastest lap time was 5.30 and its average lap time was 5.44. So, in an overall race, it would probably actually take this because its average lap time is 6.09. 
So it's kind of weird. You can get a faster hot lap, but I can get a consistent good lap off the slower one, which kind of makes sense a little bit, I guess, if you think about it. But well, let's get this up here, 5.30. So that is actually going to knock the DTO2 and the bullhead down one. And that will set right in there. Oh, there we go. We'll give, uh, you know, we'll probably end up racing this one again with a different setup and see where it ends up on the leaderboard. But we still have the Low C Double XCR, the RC 10 T3, the Tamiya Blackfoot, and the Tamiya Lunchbox that I've already raced and just have to get the videos up together for. Uh, thanks for watching this, everybody. I'm, I'm glad everybody that's been supporting this uh, video series has been enjoying it because I've been having a blast filming it for you, too. And it's kind of surprising how much damage I've done to some of my vehicles just going around in a circle. We'll get to that later, though, on the other vehicles. But all right, we'll talk to you all later, and thanks for watching. Yeah.